I'm Joe Cawthorn, a member of Team OPF, Oregon Pattern and Foundry, and I have part one of our paper, Business in a Changing World. First thing I want to talk about is OPF's products line. It's mostly, it's not as diverse as I was expected, like not as many products as I thought it would have. It mostly consists of like aluminum casings, brass, industrial castings, all that stuff, and even few bronze art pieces here and there, but I think like if they included more of a diverse, like for example if they had automobile castings, that would just make you know, more different types of customers, which would obviously be better. And yeah, that's pretty much for that. And then the competition I wanted to say was like, they didn't have any, really any competition that I could find. It didn't seem like they're pretty much the only boundary in the Willamette Valley. The closest one is like in Reading. So as far as competition goes, they don't really have any at all. In the area, at least local competition, I guess you could say they don't have any. So I need to worry about that. And as far as ethics goes, you know, every business is gonna say they're ethical, trustworthy, all that crap. But you know, only this business is actually that. I mean, when I went there to visit, when I went there to only visit, it seemed like they made sure that I knew that they were a good, good, honest business. They don't have any unethical acts associated with them. And of course, they're going to tell our customers, like, if they order anything, they're going to tell them what they're getting. They're going to be straight up with them, going to get the right product, and they're going to get it right the first time. That's another thing that they do really well. It's a strength, I would say. Yeah, or a good strength. Is that all their products are top high quality? They've been known for that. That's and they're always going to be known for that as long as they keep doing what they're doing. But as far as the weaknesses, uh, they have like a really small. I think they're I counted like five employees, and I think those are five or six employees only for foundry or pattern foundry. But which seems like way too small for foundry. I don't know. I think like. Especially if you get your product that starts coming into demand, you need more. You're gonna need a lot more people to handle all that work, or else it's gonna go slow. So I think that's one of the weaknesses is that they're really, really small. Again, they should get more workers, which I believe they are doing that. And lastly, but of course not least, is what I believe to be one of their biggest assets they have is their 3D printer. They can print out 3D models of anything they need, anything the customer wants. The customer wants something made, send it to them, print it out overnight, give it to the, show the customer, then they can actually see it in 3D, the whole model they want. That way, they don't have to go and set up meetings, cost money, and travel. They can just see it there, make some changes if they want that, and then there you go. Then they can just make it, they don't care. Sweet 3D product. I wish I had a 3D printer in my room, that'd be freaking sweet. That's besides the point. But anyways, that's mainly what I want to talk about. And yeah, go OPF. I hope everyone does good there. And cool here at home. Yeah, cool. See ya. That was pretty cool.